Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to Sophia Tears. Last time, Lillian was flirting so hard she invited us to her house. Which is never a good idea. Um, and then we were with Myra, I finally remembered her name. For just a smidgen of time, she got us lost and then left. So, you know, <laughs> she's not doing great. Anyway, let's continue. We're still at school. Another day, another dull history lecture. I'm bored. Let's look outside. It's because of this mentality that I never got anywhere in school. It's a bright day, but also a normal day. Hmm. I don't do much good. Hey, is that Lucas? Get for you laying in the snow. Taking some sort of wide angle photo feel behind the school. You also have to be wearing Lucas's jacket. It's the deduction. Hmm. It's more unusual than it seems. The Lucas is not a photographer. He's anything but a photographer. I thought about him going out of his way to create art. I didn't wear twin tails is absurd. And again, he is a pretty absurd person. Out of that decade, technological advancements allowed. Huh, this would have tried to pay attention. History, economics, money, spending money, peasants, holiday season. Ah, oh, crap. I haven't bought a single Christmas present, have I? Boo! Boo! The thing is, is that I got, I got this tip from it was a clip from a live stream by monarch to just like be buying little gifts throughout the year and then bring them all together for like holiday time and birthday time is be like here you go enjoy so that way i'm never like in a last minute oh my god So I'm pretty much always getting things for people and just like hiding it. <laughs> so I have stuff that's like from January and I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> and right after the holidays, I do it again. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. It really is. It makes it so that way I'm not caught up in the giant crowds or anything. Which is nice. Anyway. Lillian. It's not picky, so anything is fine. I want something more than just fine. This is dumb. Lifetime arrives after a short but painfully dull class. Something is odd. Look to my left. Nothing. To my right. Nothing. In front of me. Still nothing. Where is everyone? Could Rin and Lucas possibly be planning something that occupies even their lunch break? Well, piece of quiet isn't bad. Like downside, is that it'll just be me and Lu- Oh, right. Hmm? Where are the others? Good question. Well, that's odd, isn't it? We're talking about Rin and Lucas. Of course it's odd. I guess you never figured out what they were planning. Well, I can't quite say that I figured it out. I had an interesting observation this morning. Observation? It wasn't much of an observation, more like a random coincidence. You see, I was looking out the window. During class? Yes. Anyway, I was looking out the window. I saw something interesting. What happened next? Did you look outside? No, but I kept looking. A strange guy laying on the ground taking pictures. But I get the feeling that you're trying to find an excuse for not paying attention during class. I'm not lying, really. I should write that one down. I say I know where you're going with this. But I think that guy was Lucas. Why? Because he's wearing Lucas' jacket. I was slightly worried about the answer to this question. Did you not have jumped to the point three minutes ago? Well, here's an idea. Why don't we go look around? I might still be taking a picture of something, right? 
Normally I'd say no, but it isn't like him to skip school. I'll come along. Alright then, to the Winter Wonderland of back to school. But we're going outside. Maybe we just look from upstairs. We got windows, let's go see the real thing. Wait for me. I grab onto Lilia's arm without thinking. No! No, no, ask before you touch. Do not touch people without permission. That's not cool. We'll head toward the staircase leading outside. Only well, Christmas after a moment later, then neither of us have our jackets. Mark, it's freezing. How far was he? He's right here, but the hills were mostly blocking my view. I'll have to go a bit further to be sure. Did you say we're curious? Did she fall silent? I guess I was right. A bit more. We'll over one last hill. No more paces. We made it. After a perilous trek through the dark side of the school, it took a total of two minutes. We arrive at a peculiar site. It's a snowman. He's not surprised. No, not really. I just thought there would be something more. Knowing them, they expect some sort of hidden joke or ulterior motive. Maybe there is one. Maybe. It's kind of cute. Lily wraps her arms around the humanoid lump of snow. Weren't you freezing a moment ago? That is so cute. Come on, just look at the puffy body and cartoony eyes. It doesn't matter if it's made of snow. Hey, more than twice your size. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Still, does it make you feel warm and fuzzy? Good together. I'm happy for you. I had a feeling like I shouldn't ask what you're thinking right now. No worries. I won't get in the way. I just don't want to say what it means to like cute things. Hey, what if I saw anything cute in a pile of snow vaguely shaped like a human being? Killjoy. I think your hands are cold. Mm, okay. Take it back now. Thank God. They were gone for good. Ow. You think the guy with Lucas? Pretty sure. I'll ask him. There aren't many people who do strange things for no apparent reason. And you think he was with Rin, right? I doubt he'd do it by himself, and he's not the type to have a mysterious girlfriend. A mysterious girlfriend, hmm? Anyway, I think it's safe to say that the two of them are desperately trying to dry their socks right about now. Probably right. We should head back too, before someone gets sick. That someone to be the one who went on a snowman hugging spree? It was only one. It was barely a spree. It was an isolated incident of snowman hugging. Fully noted. Alright, what now? It's called a lunch break for a reason, you know. You could just eat lunch, but what's the fun in that? There's not much fun in eating, I suppose. Exactly. Why don't we take a walk around the school? Maybe something exciting will happen. Exciting? Will I regret it if I ask what you have in mind? Probably not, since I don't know what I have in mind. I regret it already. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? I think anything is better than sitting still. I can have a few things that are. Like what? Eating. I'm taking for the type, Lillian. The gluttonous. I have a 700-page book in my bag. Shall we eat then? <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll leave it up to you. Let's search for whatever it was you wanted to search for. I knew you'd understand. I just have to figure out where to go. Did you finish the story you're working on? Not yet. We took good progress the other day, though. The protagonist is a bit whiny. But I'm not sure what to do about it. Isn't everybody a little ins isn't everybody an insecure teenager at heart? But insecure teenagers are insecure teenagers at heart. I'm not sure about the rest of us. Uh, you know, it persists. It does. It really, really does. And that is unfortunate. I refrain for thinking about what category I would belong to. It's a tricky problem to deal with, but I'll figure it out. Too bad midterms are coming up. Midterms, that's right. Oh, I knew there was something I had to do today. So 
supposed to come over and study, weren't you? It's sad but true. You know you can't escape. You have to start working now, unless you seriously are failing. Unless you're serious about failing, my bad. Probably I disagree, but at this point, I think I really do need to study. You know, by the 10th grade, you should be... Wait, what? Did you just say what I think you said? Something about pigs flying? But you... You said it, right? I wasn't hearing things? I said that I really do need to study? Her happiness has physically manifested itself around her head. Well, what could I say? I suppose I'm a churn. I can't believe it. This day, the 13th of December, shall be etched into the annals of history. At last, you take your first step on the path of a told but fuck. <laughs> I could have been like this all along if I wanted. I just didn't want to. That's true. But looking at your previous grades, a revelation like this really could be a turning point for you. Turning point? You know, it's not like I'm a failure or anything, I'm just... Hang on a minute, what exactly... How exactly did you see my previous grades? Let's just say Rin and I are on good terms. In any case, it's alright if I come over today, right? Yes, of course, I'm looking forward to it. Nothing wrong. I'm fine, really. Mostly. It doesn't matter, let's see it. You're right. Wait later? Sure. You're early again. Are you sure you're not forgetting anything? Well, we have to grow up sometime, you know. Punctuality is valued in the adult world, or so I hear. You're right. If only I get Lucas to do the same. That's gonna be an uphill battle. He's devoted. He's devoted from the inside out. But only to the things he wants to devote himself to. I think it's worth a try. What if I can only get him to channel that burning passion into something else? Now that's a scary expression if I've ever seen one. Hey, relax. I'm not planning on sabotaging his external hard drive or anything. You know, I can't imagine what Lucas would be like without his unnecessary passion. I don't think even a destroyed hard drive could stop him. Yes, I suppose you're right. I could destroy the man, but you can't destroy the idea. I'm not a little out of context. Well, maybe, but you know what I'm saying. And the cliche. But it's part of what makes him who he is. You can say that. After everything I say about Rin and Lucas, I wouldn't be friends with them if I didn't respect them. You wouldn't even be friends with your own sister? Well, I'd take care of her and do what I need to. That doesn't mean I'd really be friends with her, right? What? Don't look at me like that. I'm not cold hearted. I just don't feel obligated to force a friendship. It kind of defeats the purpose of having friends in the first place, doesn't it? I'm impressed. I would expected you to think through all, the, all of this, Mark. I think more than people assume I do. It's a good hobby. As long as you don't space out. Still working on that one. He smirks knowingly. Twenty minutes later, we arrive at Lillian's house. I passed the commute by talking about the difference between two ham sandwiches at the cafeteria. Oh good, I'm sure that was stimulating. This is quite a nice neighborhood. I think so. Yeah, as far as neighborhoods go, it's not bad. I can't say I thought about it. What do you mean, you never designed a personal criteria for neighborhood judgment? I guess not. I'm always wrong with you. You're supposed to determine your feelings about a particular neighborhood without coming up with some sort of criteria. You're just being stupid, aren't you? Took it long enough. I have something for the fridge. I'll go upstairs. You walk upstairs and open the door to what appears to be your study room. Hell yeah! The plushies. Is that a plushie? Is that a desk? Is that the usual pencils and erasers? And... 
Physics formula sheets. It's a large plush toy of cartoon mascot. I wonder what she'd do with a thing like this. It's so cute! I'm a stuffed toy, Guau! 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 Okay, I really don't think that's what she do with it. Even if the mental image is adorable. Not a bad train of thought. Pulling up a chair from the desk. Take a seat and relax. Hmm. Large stuffed toy. Oh, there's a large stuffed toy shop in the mall. We were in the other day. I wonder if that shopping bag on the bench was. I see. It really does have a girlish side. I tried to keep my mind from wandering by spinning around in a swivel chair, but my attempt was futile. Just imagine her sitting in the chair alone at night, idly gazing at his flaccid eyes, poking at his fluffy cheeks, as she ponders the next sentence to write. Sorry, she takes up the last to relax. This one softer and fluffier than the last one. I'm the softest and fluffiest of all the stuffed toys. I'm so lucky to have it. something so soft and fluffy in my room. Oak. Wog. Oak. Wog. Oak. Wog. I think that came out wrong. Okay, it's not working. Plan B. Here we go. Bean. Ow. I need to go to the side of the desk. But that wasn't just the desk I had. It was side of the drawer. The door slid open. I hope it wouldn't hurt, would it? Nah! <laughs> Not like I'll find anything other than puzzle and highlighters. Hastily, I stand up and move my head over the drawer. I need slide it shut as soon as I see what's inside. I very much see pencils, pens, erasers, the works. But. Hmm? I've seen this before. I've absolutely seen this before. It's just thing, finding a bookmark on a desk is the pinnacle of normality. But I know there's something odd about it. This is coming up the stairs. I better forget about the whole thing. Oof. Here's a sword from writing, my brain is sore from thinking. It's only been an hour. How do you survive this? Like, literally, how does it not kill you? Well, I only study for about half an hour. But I do it every day, so it adds up. Every day. I work every single day. I wonder if I've been a slacker all this time. Dare I ask how you manage to survive such a rigorous routine? It isn't rigorous at all. Just because you never work, but it feels like a significant difference. Your brain is out of shape. I started to think that this whole responsibility thing just isn't for me. Ten more physics problems, now! This one rolls my way, along with a fresh sheet of paper. And no calculator for you. No calculator? Is that even possible? Oh, I'm sure it can be done. Not that I've ever tried. Darkness. Dark, darker, yet darker. Darkness develops my mind. My sister are completely muted. And I see nothing but black. My ears hear nothing. Painful pulse of silence. All I feel is a continuous throb within the stillness of the air. Repeating, hurting, aching, hurting, over and over. Like a red blindfold, blinding, pulsing, over and over, growing stronger, stronger until I can't feel my feet. My hand dissolving, dissolving, red, pulsing, pulsing, red. Pulsing, 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 pulse, 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 use, use, pulse, 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 flip, pb, u l s e, mark. What was that for? It makes you realize that I don't want to know the answer. Why are you about to die? I feel like I'm about to die. There's an owl laying on her lap. 
as if she only just put down what she was reading and noticed me. We have channel for today. It's all right for you to stop now. It's all right. Don't you mean that I'll die if I try any harder? To be honest, I'm surprised you managed to get that this much done. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Is there anything wrong with being concerned about your friends while being in school? I think your level of devotion goes a bit beyond concerned. You have a point. Would you like anything to drink? Assuming you don't have to rush home right away? Sure. Water's my first priority. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. No one's home right now. We can head to the living room. I don't want to spend any more time in this cramped study. I'd be glad if I don't see another study room for the next decade. We'll see how long that dream lasts. There you go. A mug of hot chocolate for an icy cold day. I don't have to be this polite, but thanks anyway. Oh, they weren't happy to tell you anything about the results of the survey the student council was running. Nope, not a word. Did she have? Well, no. But she should have the results by now. She should have a report completed on the results. Ah, now it makes sense. I'm glad that my sister is such a slacker when it comes to extracurricular stuff. She usually gets like this on the end of term. Don't worry about it. I'm not an official member anyway. Besides, it's not like they're falling behind. Yet. Anyway, I'm about 99% certain that she's laying around at home either clicking around on the internet or playing video games. So I can't really defend her lack of diligence. It must be interesting living with someone like that. I have no idea. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? After 16 years, I still haven't figured that out. Chocolate wafts through the air. It must be nice to have siblings. It must be nice to be an only child. You don't understand how lucky you are. I suppose it does have its perks. I think it's lonely here sometimes. If it weren't cold out, I'd be able to hear raindrops in the windows. You know, if you're lonely after school, you can always try inviting people over. I don't know about Lucas and Rin. But I know I've got way more time than I need. I suppose that's true. I wouldn't want to bother you like that. Bother? Come on, it's me. Do you really think that something like that would be a bother? When you put it that way, I guess it isn't, is it? Of course not. You know, we've been friends for more than a year now. No need to be so distant. Is that how friendship works? Because in that case, I've been doing it wrong for 24 years. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you ever need. Thanks. Difficult to describe. The feeling of being suffocated by silence. The classic metaphor that pops in every work of fiction. Moments that are so simple, so fragile, that they shatter the moment someone opens their mouth. I shatter the moment. It's not like broken record, but really, is everything alright? I've been acting strange lately. I say the same to you. But really? I don't know how to describe it. I feel like you've been distant lately. Distant. You know. Even though you're here right now, your mind is off somewhere else. They have more important and more urgent things to think about than the everyday happenings of school. Well, it's been going on lately. I can't really explain it. I suppose it's been the same with me. Yeah, I noticed. Mark? I have something to tell you. I hope you don't mind, but I... Go on. I'm listening. She smiles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have to say things like this to push my problems onto you, but if this is the beginning of this year, something has been bothering me. First, I ignored it. Me, it was nothing. But it kept coming back. Every time I returned, it was stronger than the last time. Do you know what I mean? 
You know how that feels, right? It's been bugging me since then, and it figures my daily life. I make me do things that I normally would never do. But nothing's changed. I want a feeling to stop, to be honest. I want it to disappear. But that can't happen. No matter what I do, nothing changes. I was at a loss, so I decided to tell someone. I thought that, maybe if I spoke my mind, this would change for the better. So why don't you? She looked forms around her eyes. I'd rather not. If you're that afraid, there's no need to hold it all in. Hold it in. No, no, something like that. Wipes her eyes. I'm fine, really. My heart hurts. But I can still carry on. Thing is, I'm not sure how much longer it could last. And tell me, maybe I could help. You tell, can't you? You know that I've already said too much? I know. I know, anyway. But Mark is gonna be a dunce, but I know. The story of every detail of, Vivian, of Lillian's downcast eyes and poor smile. I realized that I might as well be looking in the mirror. I'm sorry. Our door slams in the distance. Sorry about all this. I'll be fine. Please don't worry about me. If you forget, maybe nothing will change. Please. I do nothing but nod in response. The flashing alerts within my heart turn to a dull, painful thud. The winter sky darkens too quickly. It isn't late yet, but as I walk the final two blocks home, pitch black sky and icy winds stamp in my mood. I know what price I'll pay if I get too close. I shouldn't, but... And that bookmark. That small, irrelevant bookmark. Still nagging me in the back of my mind. I'm not innocent or naive. I know what I'm getting myself into. If I do it willingly, at least I can't play the victim. Wednesday, to the title of the game changed to Wednesday, December 15th. Day 4 Footprints. What do tears leave behind? So in 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 real life, uh, there are like minerals in your tears, and so like when you cry, it leaves that behind, and that's why if you don't wipe your tears, it kind of feels like a film on your face, because there are minerals that it leaves behind. Yo, salt water one. Salty sadness, but there's more. It comes a point when tears dry. When, as you might, they just won't come anymore. After that, there's a lot of emptiness. It's the same as before, of course. She doesn't move. Her mouth flicks open from time to time, but her words are silent, her thoughts invisible. A warm feeling ripples down my cheek, but I'm relieved. Emptiness. Much scarier than sadness. Big bro. Big bro. Alright, Ren. I'm up. I'm... Hmm? Mark, are you feeling alright? Something like that. I think I'm in the mood to talk. Wait. That voice. Oh, crap. Morning. You've gotta be kidding me. Well, you've seen a ghost. You're having a bad dream. It, what are you doing here this early? Wait, that's at least my problems. Why are you climbing in through my window? Find the cliche. Are you left it unlocked? You're just inviting me to come in. And how exactly did you know it was unlocked? Easy. I checked. Big bro, are you up? Will we late for school? Of course, because of the kitchen below. Uh oh. Raider, what are you talking about? I just have other girls in the house. I have no promise. My sister. Wait, did you already know that? Jude, you caught on. 
Maybe you did all of that to make me think you're the victim in some cliche rom-com misunderstanding. Kinda. You're scary, you know that. I can be so much scarier. Hey bro, I told you we'll be late. Do you need me to come up there again? Uh, what's going on? You leave me for your sister even after I came all this way to see you? No, of course not. But... What do you mean? Are you afraid of her? Of course not. I just... I'm not gonna read that. What are you thinking? Mark, are you on the phone? I told you we'll be late if you take any longer. This is quite the predicament, isn't it? I hope they're giggling at our misery. It's true. Unless I'm not making noise. But be careful. Or not. Oh, careful of what? Not getting caught when you break into people's homes. I think more along the lines of letting your innocent little sister discover that her big bro gets up to when the lights go out. What? You just got here. Doesn't know that. You're blushing. I'm not. Put my pillow and toss it at the otherworldly intruder, but she dodges it and watches it fly out the window. Stop looking so happy about it. I don't know, shouldn't you be pleased that someone like have someone like me wake you up? I'd rather not have a mysterious teleporting girl sitting on a window, thank you very much. I just a girl pulled of Myra's wrist. I'm pushing meanie. Not pushing. Before you disappear at the last second to leave me to explain why I was talking to myself all morning. Maybe it's just an excuse to take my hand and pull me under your bed. Like anyone would do that. I won't let go of her wrist. You know, there's no need to get so worked up. Any healthy person would. She fell. You just... You weren't supposed to actually pull me. I did it, you fell. What's a proper clothes, pervert? Maybe they want to get in my bedroom. Ow. She is back in the window. As I was saying, you need to choose. We say with your sister or come with me. And no, you can't have both. This will be a life or death situation. What should I do? Alright, I'm gonna save this until next time. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you later.